mambo vipi? Karibu siku zinazozidi kwenda uh, beauty industry hapa Tanzania inaonekana kwamba inaendelea kukua kinoma noma na maanisha nikiongelea beauty industry naongelea lile so lazima la sanaa ya urembo. Kwani tumeona kwamba uh, ukuaji wa ma makeup artist um, umekuwa kwa hali ya juu sana na maanisha hadi kuna wao ambao baadhi yao wamepata nafasi ya kipekee kabisa kwenda kuwa acknowledged kabisa katika platform kubwa huko duniani nikiongelea kama Forbes. Lakini pia tumeona beauty industry watu wameanza kutuletea products zao binafsi za hapa na pale. Ambapo hapa kibongo bongo tulikuwa hatujazoea kuona mambo kama haya. Tumezoea kwamba products mkiongelea labda lashes, lipstick, lip balm, uh, mascara na vitu kama hivyo watu wengi sana walikuwa wanavimport kutoka nchi za nje. Hivyo basi ndio maana sisi leo kama Storm TV tukaamua kupiga mguu moja kwa moja kwa the best makeup studio hapa Tanzania right now na maanisha tunaongelea Lavi Makeup Studio. Tunajua kabisa the owner of this studio amepata nafasi ya kipekee kabisa kuwa acknowledged na Forbes magazine moja hapo wale vijana wachache ambao kwenye miaka michache ijayo watakuwa mabilionea lakini one thing wakati unaona tunafungua intro hii ni mdada mrembo na mtanashati kinoma noma ndio maana wakati mimi nimefika studio kwake pop nikanishtukia i'm like hey hebu ngoja <laughs> Juni aireshe interview lakini haiwezekani. Anyways shout out to Ravi Makeup Studio for my super duper makeup. I know I look super dazzling. Anyways, dada pendo. Yes. Umependeza. Asante. Umependeza kinoma noma. Kwa hiyo hebu tuongelee kuanzia juu mpaka chini, chini kwenda juu. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> nani amekuvalisha uh, makeup mkono mm. mzima nani katembea viatu? Tumeona earrings kubwa hapo yani ali ni valisha anaitwa la moda anaitwa la moda designs yuko i think of since zake ziko mbezi yeah but instagram anatumia la moda designs okay shoes ni aldo yes yeah makeup ni wewe mwenyewe no it's just affordable brand <laughs> yeah tukirudi yeah. kwenye makeup yako mwenyewe hapo maana kwa za mimi nikikuangalia amepaka makeup she's natural yani niko like and for sure ni miss penegi sana kupaka makeup and suppose the same nasemaga me i hate foundations but napenda kuwapaka watu so nikipaka napaka kidogo mno kwa special occasions kama hivi okay yeah. okay em tuangalie uh, beauty industry kwa ujumla kwa mwaka 2017 imekuwa ikifanyaje kazi yani uh, growth yake pace of it wanaoingia wanaotoka mchango wake kwa celebrities wetu na hapa na pale i think it, when you speak about beauty una unamgusa kila mtu it's men and women and kwa 2017 nimeona ikiwa imekuwa hasa kwa upande wetu sisi wa ma makeup artist kumekuwa na ma makeup artist wengi watu wengi wamekuwa inspired kuingia katika hili uh, hii industry ya makeup so imekuwa na inaendelea kukua i can say simply Okay, mwaka 2017 umekuwa kwa mafanikio sana kwako. Tumeona pre, uh, precisely tumekuona umetoka kwenye jarida la Forbes magazine. At the same time kwamba tumeona mkono wako kwa celebrities wengi ukibao tukiongelea the likes of Wema Sepetu, Elizabeth Michael na wengine wengi. Uh, kitu gani ambacho uh, La Vie Studio, uh, La Vie Makeup Studio ina inacho cha tofauti ambacho inafanya kila mtu anataka kuja hapa ndani? Ah uh, simply is some maybe tuna tuna we work hard uh, kila siku tunajifunza like i think kwenye makeup unajifunza kila siku kwa sababu kila siku kuna new products kila siku kuna new trends kwa kila siku tunajitahidi sana ku keep up na pace ya hii trend ya makeup simply tunaweza kusema hivyo kwamba we are working very hard yeah kwa hicho tunachokifanya okay hapo ina hapo kati inakuaje maana tumeambia pia la vi studio ingawa inafanya vizuri lakini kuna vitu vya hapa na pale kama vile tunaambia kwamba kuna upendeleo fulani hapa ndani kama wewe so celebrity pita kule yani mkono wa dada pendo haukugusi hata ufanyaje ah uh, sisi kama kuna ukweli kwa sababu ukiangalia naweza kusema 95% ya maybe hata post zangu za Instagram ni watu ambao sio celebrity. Sasa kama 95% si watu ambao ni celebrity, how can you say kwamba kuna upendeleo? Uh, si ndio. Mimi nitakuwa simbi watu kabisa. Nitakuwa nasimbili labda aje we masepetu once in a month ndio ni mpambe. Lakini kitu ambacho kiangalia sio kweli kwa sababu every weekend, every week tunafanya kazi, nafanya kazi. Kwa ni vitu ambavyo sio vya ukweli ni ni vile tu kisha kuwa hizo ndio challenges zenyewe. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes watu wanasahau kwamba mimi ni owner and 
na, na I need to grow. Kwa kama anahitaji ku grow lazima niwape chances watu wengine pia wa kufanya vitu kama hivi. Sometimes nakuwa na majukumu mengine ya kiofisi kwa hiyo siwezi nikawa nafanya makeup 24/7. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ni maneno tu lakini haina ukweli wowote. Okay, kutokana na Forbes magazine wa wale ma future billionaire yani kina nyie, yes. <laughs> Tunao angalia kwa jicho la tofauti kabisa. Yeah, Inaonekana yeah. wa mnatabiriwa kuwa na utajiri usiopungua uh, milioni 200 sijui. Uh, take us through the dollar. Oh my god. <laughs> take us through kidogo the process. Ilikuwaaje ukapata hii nafasi kwanza uh, na mtu mwingine kama yeyote ile anakuangalia akitaka ku take part of this. Ukiondoa kile kigezo kile cha under 30. Yeah, uh, inakuwaaje? Um Au uh, Forbes wanatoaga kwa hizi under 30 wanatoaga nominations zao zinakuwa ziko online. Kwa unaenda una nominate anybody ambaye you think ana 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 fall ana ana sweet kwa wewe unavyomuona. And also you can nominate yourself. So me I just went and nominated myself. Ukishaji nominate you send them your story. What they look for is not mtu mwenye pesa. What they look for ni an inspiring story kwamba hii story in 40 years hii story inaweza ikabadilisha badilisha maisha ya watu kwamba hii biashara labda katika miaka fulani huyu mtu ana chances kubwa za kuajiri watu wengi za kuwa sem fulani za kuwa mkubwa so that's what they look for they don't look kwamba wewe ni milionea labda you have millions of shillings kwenye account yako no hawaangalii vitu kama hivyo wanaangalia mostly the future yeah the, the future success of your business Okay now let's talk about your story. Okay mimi nakufahamu da Pendo. Kwa mtu ambaye anakuona kwa mara ya kwanza kwenye screen yake, Pendo aliwezaje kuanzisha uh, La Vie Makeup Studio? Nilianza tu slowly, nilikuwa nafanya kazi and nilianza nikiwa nafanya kazi. Nilianza slowly, nilianza kama mobile and then baadaye vitu vikakuwa kidogo nikaanzisha like one room studio around here hiyo miko chene. After like a year nikahama nikahamia kijito nyama tuka tuna share like a house mimi na mtu mwingine alikuwa anafanya vitu vingine vya maharusi then after a year tena ndo nika on a need of me getting a bigger space and all those time business ilikuwa inaenda na mshukuru Mungu ilikuwa inaenda inakuwa kwao nikaona i need of me getting a bigger space ndo nika nikaja hapa miko chini so simply it was like that kwamba nili nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwao nikaanza kidogo kidogo I use my savings and all that. Okay, uh, inakuwaje pale ambapo tunambia swala zima nye ambapo mesha kwa makeup artist wa kubwa. Eh? Uh, kwa mba mna ziba ile mirija ya nafasi kwa watu wa dogo laba wanotaka kukua. Onyezenda kwa, um, I wanna be like la vi one day. Lakia <laughs> tunasia kwa mba, ah, I was a kani mna bana. Yani ningumu kwa, yani kutobua ningumu, yani acha. Perhaps ni kikuliza yu sawi najua utakosa jibu. Tunazibaje? Yeah. How do we do that? <laughs> Mimi ni story. At the same time, I would like to make a At the same time, I would like to make a artist. I would like to make a artist. At the same time, I would like to make a artist. Yeah. Actually kwa mimi nawapa chance watu wengi ambao wanahitaji kuwa ma makeup artist wawe. Okay. Yeah. Pale mwanzo wakati unaongea uh, unaanza kutupa intro kidogo kuhusu somo kuhusu makeup. Ulisema makeup ni kwa ajili ya wanawake na wanaume. Yeah. Uh, makeup ya wanaume na ya wanawake inakuwaaje? Maana sasa hivi siku hizi hadi mimi nashindwa kutambua. Kuna baadhi ya wanaume kukutana nao wamejikumtua. Mm. Yaani eyebrows yaani hizo zime cuz it's like what has just happened? Adi highlighter. Sasa tunashindwa kujua kwa Kuna tofauti mkubwa. Na ukimkuta mwanaume amefanya hivyo atakuwa anakosea. Mwanaume is just simply ni kwamba uta uta kama labda utampaka powder au kama ana spots utazikava a little bit of powder unaweza kaika lip balm kama utaika lipstick ni kidogo sana labda na mascara kama ni nyusi zake utazichana tu vizuri lakini sisi wanawake kuna a lot of process kwamba mpaka kwanza umalize jicho you need like 30 minutes <laughs> then tuje skin work then tuje contouring vitu kama hivyo hatuwafanyi wanaume so it's just a simple thing kwa wanaume yeah
uh, unaongeleaje baadhi ya lile swala kuna baadhi mimi uh, kuna couple of people nimefanya nao interview before ambapo uh, tukiongelea swala la makeup kwao wanaona kama ni zambi fulani hivi uh, wanaume especially kuna mtu kama dogo janja ambaye anapinga kabisa utumiaji wa makeup anasema wanaume atumi hapasi kutumia makeup uh, labda makeup uh, kwa mtu ana shoot video msanii let's speak about wa kiume zaidi mm-hmm. ina umuhimu gani Unajua lazima tubadilike kutokana na dunia inavyoenda kwa sasa hivi. Anyways, mimi siwezi kumpangia yeye. Yeye sijui anaongea from which. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sijui sijui mtu anasema kwamba makeup kwa wanaume haitaki. Sijui anaongea from which point of view. Lakini as in for me, naona kama mwanaume mwanamuziki kama una 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 una, una photoshoot au kama una music video kwa video kuonekana vizuri. They, they all do that. Sio hatujianzia tu hapa huko ulimwenguni yeah. na ndio tunao wanafanya. Kwa ile video kuonekana nzuri kwa sababu unajua kuna ile mingao fulani hivi tunaona kama kwenye video za zamani au ushaangalia <laughs> ndio ndio yeah. ukiangalia video za zamani na za sasa hivi zina utofauti kwamba vitu vinaonekana vizuri mtu anaonekana vizuri so we all we all want to take this industry to the next level yani hiyo music industry tuseme so ni lazima wa keep up na pace ya, ya vitu vinavyoenda sasa hivi so inaweza ka kwamba hii ndo baadhi zile malalamiko tunakutana nazo ah kwa la vipi pale kama upendeze lazima uwe lulu au uwe masepe kumbe umeenda kungangania muonekano wa mboso wako not really kwanza ukije si ukiwa nangania muonekano wa atuweze na tuka pay attention of course tunaweza tukachukua vile vitu tulivyompaka yeye tukakupaka wewe lakini in your on way and mtu yote akija hapa tunakisha napendeza whether ni wema sipetu au ni maarufu au sio maarufu aim yetu ni mtu apendeze na ndio maana kila siku unaona kwamba we grow each and every day kama tungekuwa hatupaki au wateja wengine vizuri tunampaka tu ma celebrity vizuri sidhani kama tungekuwa tunawateja mpaka sasa hivi okay uh, yeah. re- let's speak about um, mtu wa kawaida yes yeah. mfano mtu kama wewe yani wewe umeongotolea mfano kwamba wewe ni moja hapo wale watu ambao hawapendi makeup sana you like light foundation probably kidogo kidogo yeah. kwa mtu ambaye labda hana nafasi ya kutoka asubuhi na kwenda kwa makeup artist mm-hmm. vitu gani ambavyo unaweza kumshauri kwamba at least ili fiche zako za uso ukae star wa proper jitahidi kwamba hivi vitu vyote vie sawa kidogo first of all chochote tunachopaka lazima kiendelee na hiyo skin tone yes. like kama wewe ni wa chocolate utafute basi kama ni foundation kama ni powder itakayoendana na rangi yako yeah. uh, simply it's that yeah yeah